Aloha everyone and welcome back to the Kilauea Eruption and Leilani Estates update for August 4th, 2018. I just want to warn you real quick that tonight's USGS report actually reads a little bit differently than what it has been uh, over the last many weeks. Uh, but before we get to that, uh, I want to I want to remind all those people that haven't subscribed yet, you know, to do so by hitting the subscribe button down below somewhere and don't forget to click the bell icon so you can get notified of my videos uh, when I post them, which uh, this particular type of update gets posted pretty much every other day. And now for the report. The USGS reports for Saturday, August 4th, 2018 at 12.16 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time that Fissure 8 continues to erupt lava into the channel leading northeastward from the vent. No overflows reported this morning. The lower lava channel adjacent to Kapoho Cone shifted west about 0.25 kilometers and is now feeding lava into the southwest sector of the lower flow field. Lava levels appear generally low in the channel, which is incandescent at its surface to approximately 4.5 kilometers or 2.8 miles from the vent. However, lava is still flowing farther beneath the crust to the vicinity of the Kapoho crater where it is seeping out on both sides of the channel, sometimes into adjacent vegetation and starting small fires. The ocean entry part of the report is actually worded a little oddly, so please bear with me. At the ocean entry, observers note the possible the southwestward migration of ooze outs from the southwest portion of lava front. The northeast half of the flow's ocean front is inactive with no evidence of infusion into the ocean. The Pohoiki boat ramp is intact this morning and no other fissures were reported active this morning. Over on Highway 130, HVO fuel crews are still on site tracking activity as conditions will allow. Currently, there has been no significant changes in temperature, crack width, or gas emissions. Moving over to the Kilauea Volcano Middle East Rift Zone, a white plume assumed to be mostly steam with minor SO2 emissions has been issuing from Pu'u'o'o nearly continuously for the past few weeks, but there's no sign of volcanic activity. Up on the Kilauea Volcano Summit, the most recent collapse event occurred two days ago at 11.55 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time on August 2nd, and was similar in character and magnitude to previous events. Seismicity at the summit has been elevated to 30 earthquakes per hour over the past day, and inward slumping of the rim and walls of Halima'uma'u does continue. And that'll pretty much do it for the USGS part of the report. Now moving over to the EPA air monitoring sensor report. The readings for the sensor located at the Pahoa Community Center for August 4th, 2018 at 1052 p.m. was reading for SO2 0, 0.0 parts per million and for H2S 0, 0.0 parts per million. Moving over to Nanavali Estates at 1053 p.m. the SO2 reading was 0, 0.0 parts per million. Sliding down to the sensor located in Leilani Estates, at 8.52 p.m., the current reading for SO2 was 0, 0.0 parts per million, and the reading for hydrogen sulfide was 0, 0.0 parts per million. And for our final sensor in the report, the one located down in Kalapana Seaview Estates, at 10.53 p.m., it was reading SO2 at 0, 0.0 parts per million and H2S at 0, 0.0 parts per million. And that will conclude the EPA air monitoring sensor report for tonight. And that will also conclude the, the general update for the Kilauea Volcano Eruption, which means, of course, it is time for that uh, little section that we like to call, Look at That There. Okay, the first image we're going to take a look at is uh, this one by the USGS. Uh, it is of actually the first braid in the river and the one that I've been talking about in the last few videos. Um, if you look there in the top right uh, 
quadrant of the screen, you, you'll you see that uh, we're going to call it lobe A from now on, which is the one on the right, uh, that's just like a black channel, is, is obviously going through some type of change. In previous videos, I predicted that this lobe would, would start to shut down and uh, however um, I still think it is shutting down but there is still activity because if we go and look at this image right here this is uh, the recent thermal image and if I zoom in here on the uh, lobe A of the first braid uh, you'll, you'll see that uh, there is still a definitive uh, and pretty strong heat signature. And of course that signifies that there is still lava flowing under the cooled crust that we see in the pictures. So that's basically what we're seeing in the pictures. The, the top of it has crusted over um, and it has basically created uh, pretty much a, a lava tube. Now that tube can continue to flow um, however, if I zoom in a little closer here, and I apologize that the image is probably getting a little grainy, but if, if we look at this, what we can see is that lobe B, which is coming from the bottom of, of the image here, is feeding into this junction. And you can tell that uh, by the, the heat signature and, and kind of the, the cool, hotter you know, pattern, it's a little hard to see here, it's better to see the, the real image. Um, zoomed in but uh, but what we see is that the there's a pressure a back pressure being applied to lobe a uh, the lava kind of splits a little bit and goes to the right which kind of pushes up and fans out which I think is is what was happening to, to cause the the lava to, to slow down coming out of that channel because that, that's what I suspect is happening is that that you know ne not necessarily the volume that is coming through that channel is really changed but more of the the velocity and the reason why the velocity has changed is because lobe B seems to be able to conduct the, the flow more efficiently so it moves a little bit faster and it's fanning out there going up and to the left and creating a, uh, a back pressure on that channel which slows it down and since it slows down it has a little bit more time to cool uh, the more it cools the slower it gets uh, so the more efficient the lobe A or excuse me lobe B would do but if you also you look at lobe B lobe B you'll see that a majority of the flow is curving to the right and continuing to flow down the channel obviously but like I said there's a little bit of a, a pressure split there uh, it's really kind of interesting to watch you know that occur um, and and I guess this is probably one of the main mechanisms that causes these lobes to shut down um, and and the, one of the reasons why I also suspect that this will shut down is because we have that other lobe uh, on the second braid uh, on the left side that did shut down and we see in the thermal image that there really is not a thermal signature there so uh, it would be more likely that there is not lava being conducted through that route anymore even in a tube. So the next very important question that I would ask myself is what does all this mean? Um, well, this means that there's changes um, in the flow dynamic, and we can see that in this picture uh, also. You know, if we look at the the lava channel going down towards the left of the the uh, the picture, excuse me, lost my train of thought there for a minute. Uh, we can see that the the surface is cooler. So as the lava comes out of the fissure and runs down the channel it's been staying you know pretty um pretty fluid and and the temperature or excuse me in the surface uh very fluid almost all the way down to the ocean and what i think we would expect to see if if the system was uh i'm not going to say shut down but if if its activity was slowing down you know temperature dropping speed dropping viscosity increasing uh volume decreasing you know whatever the factor is uh we would see that the channel crust over and come and, and literally you know travel up the 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 uh, the channel to the source and that's kind of what we're seeing here even down in the ocean area on the flow field uh, as you heard in the USGS report that uh, basically you know uh, the lava is still um, 
being conducted down there, but it you know is going under the surface. Uh, but we see that the lobe shutting down, or appears to look like it's shutting down. So again, I'm still asking that question: What factor has changed? You know, what there, there's there's a, a variable in this equation that has decreased in in value, which is causing these alterations in the behavior of the channel. So. Uh, that will pretty much do it uh, for the look at look at that there section, and uh, uh, asked a couple you know a couple good questions there. So um, before I bring this video to an end, uh, I want to ask y'all a question: What do you think this means? Uh, leave your your replies in in the comments below, and uh, I'll be uh, really interested to see what y'all have to think. So um, until next time, thank you for listening. Have a good morning, afternoon, or evening. This has been the Kilauea eruption and Leilani Estates update for August fourth, two thousand eighteen.